the what I what I've noticed it is that the system now is really being run by computers, and completely outside of any human interaction. The computers are leeching the capital from the system, and and like a cancer, and they will continue to do so until the host is dead. Nobody goes actually goes to work on Wall Street and says, "Hi, I wonder what I'm going to do today." Gee. Uh, auto stocks look good. I think I'll buy some. No, not at all. They come in and they see how much money the computers made for them last night. Leeching capital from the system, algorithmic trading, high frequency trading. High frequency trading is an enormous scandal. All, of the, all it is, is you've got these banks who co-locate a server next to the exchange who mm -hmm. goes in, floods the exchange with orders to manipulate the price in ways that they can extract wealth. They're siphoning money out of the system and they mm -hmm. call that a business. They call that wealth aggregation. They're just stealing. And as a result, the, the liquidity of the system and the deflation is being supercharged with algorithmic trading. And these guys, they just program the computer. So they have their computer, their quants. People come in from Stanford University. They come in from MIT. Or they come from France. You know, Paris has a very mm -hmm. high percentage of quant, uh, quantitative analysts who end up working on these systems because it's very... Uh, engineering is still highly revered here in, in in France, and as a result, many of these engineers have gone into this kind of investment banking and quantitative analysis, and they just come in like fishermen and see if any you know how much how much money they collected overnight. They don't actually; they're just like the king. Uh -huh. they, they they have their domain. As long as the indicator is green, if it's green, it's good. And then they go back to playing golf. Or they go to Aspen, or they go to some conference, you know, like they go to Herb Allen's conference, you know, every year, and they get naked, and they get in the sauna, and they rub each other's back, and they say how fucking intelligent we are because we got a computer algorithm that's systematically impoverishing the globe, and aren't you swell, and yeah, I'm great. Now, you, now you, you basically invented one of the algorithms that they use, which that's is correct. this virtual specialist mechanism, so you will be, of course, expert able to say how it is being abused. What happens if the price is manipulated using that algorithm? Uh, That's right. Uh -huh. what, what, sure. what are you doing? <laughs> the specialist system on the floor of the exchange, you match a buyer and a seller. Uh -huh. Basically, if there's more buyers than sellers, the specialist, there's a guy in the exchange who's got a book. Uh -huh. He's saying, well, I got, you know, Harry came in with a lot of buy orders here. Uh, I've got to clear this order book by raising the price. You know, the price that's going to be fair and equitable for both the buyer and the seller. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a subjective judgment call on the behalf of the specialist whose role is to maintain a fair and orderly market as described in the Securities Act of 33 and 34, where they must comply with this rule. Now, if you have a computer that is effectively putting orders in and flashing orders for a millisecond that shows a million shares to buy, you're fooling the specialist to mark the price up. Especially if you cancel the order a millisecond later, and all that's left is that fake price. So the specialist thinks, hey, there's somebody that wants to have it at 10,000. Let's move up the price. That's right. You're fooling the specialist into reacting to fake orders. And the price moves, but you've got uh, exterior tangential trades in other markets, the option markets or the futures markets, that will have an effect who are keyed in to this primary market. Mm -hmm. So if you can fool this market and create a price move, you you can book profits in your exterior market with no risk, effectively. Zero risk. You're making, you're just stealing money. Okay, uh -huh. they're called derivatives I know. <laughs> because they derive their value uh -huh. from something. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, before the 70s, you had stocks and bonds. This was pretty much the chocolate and vanilla of securities brokering mm -hmm. on Wall Street. Starting in the 70s and the creation of listed options trading, the Black-Scholes option pricing volatility formula is like did to equity what Robert Oppenheimer's design for the nuclear bomb did to Nagasaki. I mean, it created a piece of theory mathematical quantitative analysis that allowed bankers to separate risk from reward and to trade the two separately. Just like in atomic okay. physics, mm -hmm. you were able to separate energy from matter to create nuclear bombs 
the option pricing volatility formula separating risk from equity to create what Warren Buffett calls weapons of mass financial destruction.